Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather, the area's certified most accurate forecast. Well, rainy Sunday, as you predicted, Matt. Yeah, the bears are coming out. The snow is melting. You certainly know it's spring, but it didn't feel like it today at all. No, no. Yeah, we were stuck in the 40s today. We had the rain, and we had a pretty healthy drink of water across the region. This is from uh, Port Henry. Sawyer Brassard sending in his rain total there. You can see the rain gauge coming up to about 1.7 inches of rain. So right in the forecast there, one to two inches of rain. We did come in with a little bit less than that in parts of the Champlain Valley, but we've still got the rain in the forecast through tomorrow. So by then we should certainly reach the one inch mark. So uh, with all the rain that fell, the lake is at an elevated level now, right near flood stage in Port Henry, 99.71 feet. Keep in mind flood stage is at 100 feet. So it's just minor flooding all the way up to even parts of Quebec or right uh, in the Richelieu River right there, 99. 9.65 feet and uh, parts uh, just north of the border there. So the lake is a little elevated, but we're not seeing any major flooding concerns, which is the good news. The rain has certainly lightened up from what uh, the rates were a little earlier, but we've still got the rain falling in parts of the region, including the Northeast Kingdom, Newport, down through Barton into Sheffield. So along the I-91 corridor into the less populated areas east of there, seeing some leftover showers. Also, as you head west from Malone towards Chattagay, and Winthrop and Potsdam seeing some rain showers along the uh, Route 11 corridor there. Even some snow showing up on radar just south of Tupper Lake into the Long Lake region. So don't be surprised to see a few flakes flying in some of the higher elevations overnight. And the big uh, reason for that is we've got this very big pocket of cold air aloft. You can see our water vapor looks quite complicated here. There's many little disturbances nestled in with the larger low pressure. You can see a little spin there just east of Pittsburgh and another one right by Minneapolis. It's a very slow moving gyre of disturbances that really take until middle of the week to get out of here. So that means numerous showers tomorrow redevelop after a little bit of a lull tomorrow morning. And then Tuesday and Wednesday, we still run the risk of some showers, but I do think that the good news is they'll be a little less widespread than today and on Monday, finally drying things out by Thursday, maybe Friday of uh, this coming week. So future cast over the next couple of days, pretty busy. Not so much tonight. Once the showers shut off after two or three in the morning, I think it's mainly dry early tomorrow morning. But notice by 9, 10 o'clock, we already start to develop those showers once again. And by lunchtime, middle of the day, we should see some more more widespread showers developing. So the rain will be on the lighter side compared to what we had today. But just keep in mind, it's still a raw and gloomy day all the way through Monday evening. Could be a little bit of a late day clearing on Monday and especially Tuesday morning. So I think we see some peaks of sun early on Tuesday. But keep in mind, we're still under the influence of this uh, upper level low pressure system. So this uh, sunshine could actually help to pop off some more scattered showers as we go through Tuesday afternoon. And then once again, this last little disturbance coming through on Wednesday, that means more showers and clouds up until about Thursday. And even though we dry out later in the week, it looks like we still have uh, the risk at above average precipitation going into next weekend. So the unsettled pattern takes hold and you'll certainly see the continuation of that tomorrow. Raw and gloomy 41 in Lake Placid. That's the high for tomorrow with numerous showers, 40s as well for most of Vermont and even 40s down into parts of the Upper Valley, 49 in Springfield, 46 in Ludlow. So the five day forecast has a lot of clouds, a lot of showers through Wednesday. Thursday is looking a little better and then Friday should see some 60s back in the picture with hopefully drier weather continuing into parts of next weekend.